my Ukraine was attacked by Russia. And everything changed. Um, when I criticize Russian Americanists who were advisors of Putin, who were promoter and founder of a um, foundation called Ruski Mir Foundation, Sereslav Nikonov, Andronik Migranyan, uh, and others, uh, I received very negative reviews for my book. People attacked me for criticizing the school of Sivachov. Sivachov was famous KGB man, Emani Moscow, um, Moscow Americanist. Many Sivachov students now, including Nikod Nikonov, advisors of Putin, American professors who were reviewed, I will not give you their names, uh, I'm not supposed to. They asked me to remove criticism of Vladimir Sogrin um, and other Russian Americanists who criticize Ukraine, who justify aggression of Russia in Eastern, uh, in Eastern uh, Ukraine, in Donbass. So for me, it was shock. But Moscow was always center of Soviet civilization. They used to have more privilege than any place in Soviet Union. And of course, they were affected by um, collapse of the Soviet Union. They lost all their privileges. They lost this special place and this hierarchy of cultural geopolitics. And now suddenly Putin gave them their position back. I understand this, but why I need to remove my material? They need uh, support of Russia. They need a uh, normal atmosphere for their research work in Russian Federation. They need access to Russian archives. So unfortunately, politics now and academic politics of knowledge production affected Slavic studies in the West. But you need to understand that uh, Russian Foundation, Russian Ruski Mir Foundation, and again, I will not give you these um, uh, names, but they supported many other projects of Western and American scholars. Look at how many Americans were invited to teach in Moscow, in New School of Economics, for example. And they pay like $5,000 a month without any... So can you imagine if you're a young, ambitious American historian of Russia? And if you have immediately this very good salary, apartment in Moscow, of course, you'll forget about this Ukraine and, <laughs> and other bad things made by Russia. So this is a bribery, this corruption on big... I, you already know the story of Stephen Cohen and his foundation. I suspect that um, many uh, of Russian oligarchs invest money in everywhere, including our Slavic Association. Uh, look at this Prokhorov Foundation. Uh, Prokhorov Foundation is everywhere in uh, Brooklyn, New York. Prokhorov's money is uh, in our academia. And for me, it was a very bad revelation.